Okay, so Chris, that's a good question, Christina. I believe a sandbox doesn't give me a copy of all my production data, but I'd be able to copy my production org into a developer org. You can do that, but it's manually. So sandboxes are in instances where you work in Salesforce and it's like a paid enterprise level uh, situation where you've got multiple licenses and then you pay for, there's like uh, several free developer sandboxes that can be tied to your org, but you can't really port over the data very easily. And then there's other types of sandboxes. I think ultimately in that type of work environment, that's not available to people that are just free on the platform, but inside of organizations that are paying is typically what you want to kind of fight for or request is a full copy sandbox so that you can then push all your data into a sandbox so you can do true testing and stress testing, et cetera. Now, if you do a free developer org, the way that you can get any data is you would have to export it and then import it. There are tools to do some exports and imports. So I'm not gonna rec recommend one to over another. They're pretty expensive typically. And with a free developer account, you only have like five megabytes of space. So it doesn't take very many accounts with other data attached to it for you to blow through that very quickly. So uh, I would do just a small subset of data and I would get uh, some sort of snapshot of that sandbox then so that you can revert back to it if you need to refresh or anything like that. 